Hello and welcome to MicroCAP Tutorials. We're going to be doing simulation on Zener diodes and voltage sources coming into resistor or, or voltage dividers. Our voltage source starts at 5, has a DC offset of 5, and a, and a frequency of 100 Hz. This is the uh, voltage equation that represents that. Uh, next we have a 1 half resistor divider network and then we have a Zener diode. We're going to compare the results. So if we go into analysis, into transient, and we run it, we're going to see that the voltage goes from 0 to 10 volts and the res resistor divider output goes from 0 to 5 volts. But perhaps we want this signal to go into uh, a different kind of digital um, input and perhaps that's at 3.3 volts. Well, uh, or, or what if this, this voltage source that we're looking at is actually uh, is actually an impulse. It's not a common phenomenon, but it's going to be rare in our circuit. But let's say that could still kill a 3.3 volt circuit. Well, one simple way of mitigating that is to put in a zener. So we're going to add a zener diode into the circuit, and then we're going to modify the BV value, and that is the breakdown voltage of the device. So we want to start zenering at 2.0. Uh, all of these other parameters are interesting, but today we're only going to look at BV. Um, there are many different kinds of models that you can use for zeners uh, that are going to match more real-world characteristics, but when you're just getting started, generics are good enough. So we're going to run the simulation and see what we get. So here we have some clamping that's occurring on that waveform. And even though we set the breakdown voltage to be at 2.0, uh, 2 uh, we can see that the clamping doesn't really happen until 2.5 or 2.6, somewhere around there. So just keep in mind that you are setting the value for which that Zener diode is beginning to open up or beginning to Zener and that you should be aware that your voltage uh, may exceed that slightly. So then the rest of the waveform performs the way that we would expect to with some changing decay characteristics. So that's what that looks like. Now, uh, suppose we wanted to change this Zener diode, the breakdown voltage, but we didn't want to go in and run 10 different simulations or 15 different simulations by clicking each one or changing each one. So what we would do and what we're going to do is we're going to step. So we're going to go to the stepping feature. We're going to choose Z1 because that's the um, component that we have interested in. We're going to select the B value. We could, we could change any of these parameters here, but uh, we are going to... Uh, so select the Zener voltage and we're going to go from 0 to 2.5 and see what happens. And then we're going to say yes to step it. So now it's going to be part of the simulation. So I'm going to run it and as you can see now I have a sweep that occurs through all of these. Um, here is the um, uh, here's a simulation where I don't have um, any Zener essentially. No breakdown voltage whatsoever. And then here is a bunch of values. Uh, for selections of different BV values. So this can be helpful if you're selecting between components of giving you a best shot of which component is going to provide you the performance that you're looking for at any given time. It can save you a lot of uh, a lot of effort, a lot of time in clicking um, where we can just we can instead of going through all of these we can change uh, through one stepping motion. And you can resolve that even faster if you want to or uh, more narrow uh, so if we start from 0 and go to 2.5 and we do this in steps of 50, well, we're going to get a lot more a lot more points to look through. So just decide on what you what it is that you want to do in the scope of your overall sweep and then you'll find the right kind of result for your application. Thanks for watching.